Okay, let's take a look at this production budget multiple choice question. And you see the question in front of you. In, in a production budget, total required units are the budgeted sales units plus what? Is it budgeted sales plus beginning finished goods? Is it budgeted sales units plus desired ending finished goods? Is it budgeted sales units plus desired ending finished goods plus beginning finished goods? Or is it budgeted sales units plus desired ending finished goods minus beginning finished goods? All right, to answer this, let me put this little calculation that we use all the time in accounting together. And, it basic, and if this were in dollars, this would say, what's beginning finished goods in dollars? Then you would add in, what did you add to finished goods? And that came from the production you finished and transferred to finished goods. So it would, if this were in dollars, it would be beginning finished goods in dollars plus production right, cost of goods produced, and that would give you total available, which I'm not showing as a subtotal here. Then you would subtract out the ending finished goods in dollars, and you would come up with cost of goods sold. But since we're doing this in units, what we have is beginning finished goods inventory in units. Then we add in what production is required. Then we subtract, and that would give us a subtotal of total to account for, right? And then we would subtract out what's our ending finished good units and that would give us budgeted sales. Okay, so that's our typical formula, but they're asking us, how do we solve for uh, the required units? So that's B, this is column B here. So if we put variables to this, what do we see? We see that D is equal to A plus B minus C, right? 10,000 plus 85,000 minus 16,000 gives us our budgeted sales. But this question is saying, uh, what's total required units? Well, total required units is the production required. That's B. So how can we arrange this so that uh, we can solve for B? All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to separate B. And we'll just leave B on the right side since it's already a positive number. So to do that, we just... Um, we subtract A from both sides of the equation, right? So here I had an A on the right side. We subtract A from it so that we have to subtract A on the left side. Um, and then we had a minus C on the right side. So if we add C to it, and you see in red color is where I'm adding, we get positive. So now if you look to the right, A minus A cancels out. So that goes to zero or goes away. B remains and C goes away. So what we're left with is D plus C minus A equals B. Well, we're solving for B. All right, so B is required units. What is D? Uh, D was budgeted sales. That's that one there. Plus C. C was the desired ending finished goods. All right, finished goods. So we're, we're in good shape there. Minus A, minus the beginning finished goods. Okay, so algebraically, if we arrange the terms, we see that the correct answer to this multiple choice question is the last one. Um, budgeted sales plus desired ending finished goods minus beginning finished goods is how we would calculate total required units.